Now, um, the next thing that um, I want to do is I want to look at, um, you know, you can put strokes, in other words, add color to the individual lines, the vertical and the horizontal lines, and we can also put color in the cell or the squares themselves. Again, I can highlight. So if I highlight this first row, for instance, and I'll go up into swatches and I'll add some, make sure my fill is selected over here, and I'll add some color. So there you see I've added yellow to this first row. Okay. Now let's take a look at adding some um, information to the stroke, the lines. And you can do it horizontal and vertical or one or the other. Uh, sometimes you'll see a slick looking, um, uh, and here again, you see uh, we've got a situation where we needed to highlight this. And now we can go back up under the table again. And um, here is where uh, strokes and fills, okay? cell options. So let's go right here. And um, here, right here in strokes and fills is where I can choose to add color to the lines or the grid. And in my case, uh, for stylistic purposes, I want to add color and thickness to the horizontal lines, but not to the vertical lines. Not to the vertical lines. So what I'm going to do is you have to deselect the ones you don't want to add color to. So in my case, I'm going to click right here on this vertical line, deselecting it, deselecting this, and deselecting this. And they turn gray if you can't see it. The horizontal lines are still blue. And um, once again, I'm going to um, I'm going to pick a color here. And let's just make it very vibrant so we can really see it. And I'm going to make it really thick so that you can see it very easily. And so in my case, I'm going to do five points. Okay. And then I say, okay. And then I deselect it. And here you can see um, that I now watch hide frame edges, view hide frame edges. And um, you can see that um, now what I have is um, color in the horizontal lines, but not in the vertical lines. Okay? So um, then um, we can also add text to each of the cells. And uh, we're going to talk about this in class, um, whether you want to add the numbers the one, the days of the week uh, and the month here in the table, or whether you want to simply uh, use your tabs and put the numbers in separately on top of the grid. But for purposes of understanding the tables, let's go ahead and do it um, for the moment in the table itself. So once again, I go to the, um, put this back over here, I go to my type tool and I click it in place. And I'm going to do one, hit my tab key, two, tab three, tab four, tab five, tab six, and tab seven. And of course, I would then hit my return and continue um, putting in the numbers. Now, clearly, you can see they're small, they're down at the bottom here. Okay? So, let's look at what we want to do. Now, um, you have to be careful highlighting the cell is different and separate from just highlighting the number in this case the number so the first thing I probably want to do let's let's make it a little bit bigger just so that we can um, see it okay and um, again I'm just trying to make it really obvious so there's my number, but it's down at the bottom, and I want it at the top. I want it at the top here. So once again, 
I'll go up here to table and we'll do table options and we'll go to pull this up and we'll go to text and here to me is the easiest way we can use these little table um, palettes from over here or you know from under window but this is really nice because it's just really um, obvious here's my text and I want it um, point uh, I'm going to say I want it 0.25 down uh, at from the top okay and I want it point um, close to the left so I, there you go you see it popped up there and I'm going to put 0.25 here as well and you see the preview and so I can say okay okay and there you see the type so you know you'd have to go in here and you'd have to do them um, and I do let's just see if we did this all at once all at once would we be able to, to do this or am I going to have to do this separately let's see okay you see this is highlighted the cells but not the text and so you can see right here that you'd have to do it individually as um, you set it up okay so at any rate um, here is how you can um, uh, do that part of it and um, it's a pretty nifty uh, little deal here and uh, whether you try to automate it you can highlight this, the individual cells. You can highlight the individual, you see, moving things over manually. But I would suggest that you use the tools that um, the dialog boxes so that everything is consistent throughout um, the table. And um, let's stop there and uh, we're going to pick up some more information uh, concerning the tables in our next video.